Recently, a group of brain diseases called frontotemporal degeneration have captured a national attention. That's after celebrities like Bruce Willis and Wendy Williams have shared their journeys that they live with some form of the disease. But a Wabash Valley family dealt with the effects of FTD years before this recent intrigue. News 10's Caitlin Hunt has the story. They call it the cancer of the soul. Frontotemporal dementia is a group of brain diseases that typically strikes people ages 45 to 64, but symptoms can show up as early as age 21. And one Paris, Illinois family is sharing their experience with the disease to raise awareness. At age 29, Kara Kirby was achieving some of her biggest dreams. She was married, working as a nurse, and had just given birth to a son. And it was shortly after that birth when she and her mom, Don, noticed changes in her personality. Trips to various doctors would reveal that Kara had frontotemporal dementia. You think of when you get older, you know, oh, grandma has Alzheimer's. You're almost like, well, she's 89. Mm -hmm. she, that happens. Mm -hmm. But you don't think, oh, Kara's 29. She probably has dementia. And with that diagnosis, Kara lost all of those things she once dreamed of and began to slip back into a childlike state. I got to check the time on my phone. It's something News 10 Susan Dinkle saw firsthand back in 2019 when she met Kara shortly after her diagnosis. Kara had no filter and did exactly what she wanted. Watching cartoons, drawing, and especially swinging were Kara's favorite pastimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Dawn says Kara eventually lost the ability to show emotion or even feel pain. It makes it very difficult when you see your child now unable to respond, uh, you don't know what they're thinking or are they thinking? Kara died on New Year's Day in 2023 and her parents donated her brain for research to hopefully find a cause or even a cure for FTD. But in the majority of cases, we still don't know at all what causes FTD. Sharon Denny is with the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration. She says about 20% of FTD cases are genetic. But with talk show host Wendy Williams and actor Bruce Willis putting a spotlight on the disease by sharing their diagnoses, Denny is hopeful that the attention will lead to more research. Breaking through that sense of isolation is so important to being able to move things forward and for the support and the resources that families need. Comfortable with oh, his mom yeah. too. Oh, yes. Yeah. Since Kara's death, Dawn has been turning her pain into a purpose by becoming a local ambassador for the AFTD. She's done countless interviews and webinars across the country to educate others on FTD. Kara's not going to be a victim. FTD did not win in the end. In Paris, Illinois, with photographer Dorothy Goforth, Caitlin Hunt, News 10. Now there is a lot more to learn about this disease and you can find links to some valuable information and resources over on our website at WTHITV.com. Additionally, Dawn, who you just saw, is also hosting an event later on this month. She's hosting a meet and greet on Saturday, April 27th. The meet and greet will be held at Ginger Snaps Cafe in Terre Haute from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Dawn will be there to answer your questions on the basic FT. Die